Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more. Uh, <laughs> Monarch. In the previous video, we continued our quest to get Kokoro back. Vice President. So yeah, I don't need to hear that again. We don't need to hear that again, Nozomi. I'm sorry. I love it, but we've heard it like 50 times already. Thank you. For what? What for? You accepted me for who I am. You gave me a reason to go on. That's how I'm able to help you stop Kokoro. How I'm able to keep moving forward and protect you. Had I kept moping the way I did, I'd have just let history repeat itself. Hey, why did you accept me for who I am? I've never told you that you. story before. I didn't think you would take it so well. I figured you would reject me once you knew I was living a lie. That you'd tell me to drop the act and be true to myself. Or some other inspirational line. I guess that's not who we are. This is important to you. You do what you, I guess? I want you to be you. You're right. It is important to me. That's all that matters. Fake or real. Thank you for making me realize that. But in the end, I'm still pretending to be someone I'm not. Isn't that wrong? An ugly fraud like me will never be as good as the real thing anyway. You're amazing the way you are, baby. The way I am, huh? So in other words, my attempts to impersonate Hikari. I suppose that means you acknowledge she lives on in me, at least. That does make me happy. I mean, I don't know. After all... This is weird. The fakes exist is to imitate the beauty of the real thing, right? Fakes have a beauty all their own. I mean, I just... Can I just be like, bitch, you are fine the way you whiz. What do you like, mean I like that? you for you. <laughs> the way you chase after your aspirations. My aspirations are... Beautiful? You live your life with all you have. <laughs> so what you're trying to say is that it's good that I'm such a go-getter? It's strange. I feel a little less tense after hearing that. Good. I'm stubborn, you know. Yeah, My I know. The inferiority complex keeps me from understanding why anyone would accept me as I am. It just doesn't feel right. I know wanting to be her isn't normal, but I just can't stop myself from trying. Still, deep down, I suppose I did want a part of me to be accepted for what it is. And I guess that part is being a go-getter. Fake or not, this is the way I've decided to live. I'll chase my dreams and do what I think is right. There you go. Thank you. I don't know, like... <laughs> this game's weird. Fake or not, this is the way I've decided to live. I'll chase my dreams and do what I think is right. Let's go get healed. You seem pale. Let me have a look. You should be fine now. Make sure you don't overdo it. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Purple. Sure. 
Whatever. I'm trying to find the ones for Wrath. Or not Wrath, um... Uh, Jesus, take wrath for that one again. Well, not again, but you know what I mean. All right, here's our last one. Then I, I don't really care which I pick. I mean, granted, I didn't care what I picked for these two anyway. But I'm trying to get, I'm trying my damnedest to get like sloth and um. Uh, is it envy? No, greed. Yeah, sloth and greed are the ones I'm trying to get. But I could just easily get those to be um, leveled up anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. You've eaten your full of delicious meal together with your significant other. Just then, your absolute favorite dessert arrives. What do you do? Don't touch it at all. See a little bit. Eat about half of it. Eat every last bite. Eat half of it. Why do I feel like that's always going to lead to a gluttony one? Uh, how you eat the dessert this picks already being full indicates your level of loyalty to your partner. Since you ate about half, the likelihood that you'll cheat is pretty high. Fuck you. Depends on the person and the situation. You might even end up betraying your partner right away. There's a calculating side to you, and you just might be capable of justifying yourself as long as no one finds out. Fuck you. These psychological tests are Bullshit. Uh, since you didn't take a single bite, you would probably never cheat. You have a lot of self-control and you're content and you're content with the state of your relationship. I guess you're not the type to act rashly. That sound about right. Since you ate only a little, I'd say the chance that you cheat is pretty average. You like to treat yourself every once in a while, after all. It's just a little bit on the bit is no big deal, right? You're the type who might go on a date out, out of impulse post alone. That sound about right. So you about half, um, since you ate all, you're definitely the unfaithful type. You get the urge to cheat all the time, and there's always a chance for you to do so. Since you think of everything as an invitation. That sound about right? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. So can I go to these other floors now? Oh, not other floors. Can I go in these sections or am I looks like I'm still locked off from it so I can't go in there until I probably deal with down here first okay okay oh right and you need to get that key too so Can I go in there now, or is it still... Probably can't. Okay! It seems this place, too, is linked to the depths. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? The Academy. The Academy 2. Due to the indigenous faith deeply rooted in the area, the region is referred to as Shimikado. The Jingu family was originally a clan with strong ties to the faith in question. With the religion eventually declined, the Mikado Learning Institute was established on land that had been deeply tied to its god. In 1934, the head of the Jingu family, who would later go on to found, later go on to found Shimikado Academy, invited a pastor by the name of Carter through his connections to uh, in occult sciences. According to Hall Attacks of the Jingu family, it is said that a key that Carter was in possession of led to the discovery of demons. However, Carter's writings, which were discovered elsewhere directly contradicted this claim. According to Carter, what was discovered in the region was not demons, but brrrl. He wrote that in order to protect their faith and reject brrrl's abominations, ex ab 
abominable ex existence. The Hajinka family at the time, a deeply pious person, wished for it to be sealed away, as well as its power to be that of demons. As a result, Blue's power was split apart, and thus demons were created. 1973. Zero 05, okay. Read. The records can detail information regarding authorities. It contains may induce several manic compulsions. The record supervisor's advice to pay utmost attention to the ego value of the reader. The already agreed has only surfaced a, sant a scant few times, and many factors regarding it remain unknown. Its power is thought to be related to the concept of time and of all existing authorities. It is believed to be the most taxing on the pack bear. A young girl goes mad during class. Upon examination, it is confirmed that she is the pack bear of greed. Her behavior is wildly incoherent, but it is assumed that she had been repeating the same day over and over again. But later the same day, the girl's mother dies in a sudden accident. Further cases exist. I see nothing else. Oh, she said point, it's 0 0.5, so it would probably be, like, one of the first ones. It's, like, it's probably, like, right where that girl is, too. The Divine Gate? The Silver Gate found within the other world. All those who visit the other world are certain to lay eyes upon it at least once. The gate is only present within its confines. No matter where you are, it, too, will be there. Beyond it resides... Blah, blah, blah. Is that... Is the... Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if these things will ever be full. Like, will those things get full once we, like, realize, like... Oh, shit, I just realized I never did the call thing. Fuck it! I welcome the madness! Let's do it! <laughs> Again. Let's go, Nozomi! Okay, so it seems like the death call is... Always the same one, regardless of what floor or whatever we're on. Together is one. I'll protect you. Let's try that again. And that's actually why I don't have Pride, which is who that is. That's why I don't have Pride going to these fights. Go, or, that's why I don't have Pride attack, because Pride actually has the most Psy out of everyone, so... Here I go. Together as one. Together as one. Reject the emptiness. Oh. Ruthless. 
God damn it! Ah. Fucking stupid. Oh Stop, please. I'll do it. 
for you. Get a ticket. Oh, it's over. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna just give up. Oh, let's have some fun. Is there a way I can give them more madness? Is there a way I can give ailments? Is there a way I can give? There's a way I could like Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna give up and get out of here. Once that does that. Maybe if I get my whole group up at higher levels, I'll be able to just help. Let's go, Nozomi. It's for you. Here I go. Together as one. I'll protect you.
Did I just kill everyone? I think I did. There we go. I'm glad I could protect you. Sloth and greed is what I need. Sloth and greed is what I need. I'll be fine on my own. Qualifications. I kind of want to go back into the other one now just to see if there was anything in there for me to get. missed it somewhere there it is by the divine gate I have co attained a copy of S Carter's records their details are no different from what I had heard the records regarding below stood out more than those that mentioned demons apparently one must be blue to pass through the silver gate uh, one can't attain their required qualifications by defeating the monarchs possibly because they are beings bup dup dub's power Carter's records mentioned five or nine monarchs in all. Can't be five. Only word of blood have been passed down in the Jingu family. The numerical discrepancies is like a result of memory selection. Um... Five. Five or nine. Well, actually, it probably is nine because you have the seven deadly sins and then you have vanity and woe, so that's nine. So, yeah, it's nine. That makes the most sense. There's anything else in here because I feel like I might have forgotten something. Aha! Yep, there it is. Sloth. Is that the only one I never had? No, I think I'm missing another one. Yeah, I'm missing. Uh, lust. I'm missing lust. Uh, the authority of sloth is proportioned to the. To be pre cog analyst, a power that allows one to predict the future as well as analyze the optimal path of each pack versus their outcome. An excessively app apprehensive boy forms a pack. Despite using his ability to avoid incoming danger, he sees too many futures where he meets with it instead. Unable to handle it, he ends up breaking as a person. The young girl forms a pack in order to learn how to save her 
gravely ill grandmother from suffering. She then attempts to murder said grandmother. Ugh. The Jingu family head of two generations past forms a pack. He attempts to use his power to prevent any more pack bears from emerging, but gives up upon learning that the cost it would incur on both the user and the world was too high. So Lust is the only one we do not have uh, Cromwell's notes for yet. Speaking of which, how many of his notes do we have? Uh, we need 20 left. I ha Well, then again, there are other areas we haven't been to besides just the archives. And we have quite a bit of this, uh, less than 20. So it's not that much. This is all done. We have this nine songs left, so. Alright, well, let's get our new song with, uh, Fighting Sloth's Pack, uh, Monarch. But my da 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 da. together okay for what reason didn't the Dean tell you I want to be here alone please show yourself out we heard but I can't just let this happen why are you locking yourself away here you never seemed that attached to your authority or your ideals. Affirmative. I have no interest in powers or ideals, nor the physical plane from which we originated. But I realized something. The only way to neither hurt nor be hurt is to be alone. That is the safest and securest way to live. Consequently, I decided not to relinquish my authority. You're confusing your means for your ends. What do you mean? I'm sorry. We found out when we shattered your ideals. Kokoro, the reason you don't want to hurt or be hurt is because you want to get along with everyone. Right? Hmm. If only I knew how to make that a reality. I thought perhaps I could, ah. were I to understand the hearts of other people. My wish was perfectly justified. Yeah, it's a song. But things are different now. I have finally decided to give up. A person's perception is unique to themselves. Language is a tool used to communicate perceptions to one another, but it's far from perfect. Words vary by the person. There is no way to understand someone completely. Since doing so is impossible, there is no way to avoid hurting others or being hurt yourself. Although we can't understand each other, we pretend we do. No one cares about the pain that results. It nauseates me. Only through isolation can one attain tranquility, safety, and security. It is possible to exist alone. Secluding oneself in a metaphysical plane like the other world is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So please, do not interfere. Don't say that. We don't want to leave you here, Kokoro. You're right. When you're with others, it's inevitable that someone will get hurt. But not all wounds are bad. Some 
pains are kind and gentle. We're going to shatter your ideals and carry you back. By force, if we have to. I see. So that is why you are targeting my ideals. I have no other recourse than to defend myself. I cannot permit my ideals to be shattered. They are precious to me, as well as to him. Acedia. Yo! I believe in safety and security, but my hand has been forced. Why does everyone's monarch look so much better than my dainty little rabbit? Alrighty. Yo, Nozomi! Anyone to die. Let's go, Nozomi. To victory. Together as one. I'll protect you. God damn it! I'll go for whoever's the weakest of them. Let's go, Nozomi. Oh, 
Oh, uh, hold on. Nine. Eight ninety one. Eight. Okay, so you're the weakest one. Wrath. Wrath is the weakest of them. Okay. I'll have Wrath go next time. in first then I'll heal and then I'll have the second person with the lowest one go I can honor that I actually get rid of everyone that did. Okay, so all that's left is just the group. Okay. I'm the one that's closest to getting mad. Oh, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have um, Calculating illogical. Oh, she's using her skill. Superficial phenomena. Let's actually see what level she's at. A fruitless outcome. Goes too fast. Take pride in vanity. Worthless scum. I'm losing it. All you. Reject the emptiness. Get this. Superficial phenomena. I see it. A fruitless outcome. It's forty three, okay, which is not the level I had her at.
Oh! Shit. Your soul. It's over. I'll protect you. Hold on a second. Hold on. I have uh. Do I have something that will get rid of all my stats ailments? I think I do. Been a lot better, but eh. We, we got an A, I guess, but. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <sighs> hey, buddy.
alone. This is how I became estranged from the world. When did mother stop hugging me? When did everyone begin to distance themselves? My calculations led me to remember. I was happy when people praised me. I was happy when people patted my shoulder and said I did well. I came to love it more and more. That was when I realized I wasn't normal. Mother would apologize to me. You're special, Kokoro. I'm sorry you can't have an education that matches how special you are. But it didn't matter to me. I loved my home, my school, and my mother. Kokoro is special, but he is so painfully normal. Such words were used by others to hurt my friend. He was a good friend. I enjoyed being around him. It isn't as though I asked to be special. If the heart of another is hurt, my own heart is hurt as well. I hate that word. Special. I wish I were normal. I want to be like everyone else. I'm not as smart as everyone thinks I am. I'm not special. I'm just... Strange. I don't understand. What can I do so that everyone treats me like a regular person? I don't understand. The loneliness. The sadness. How can I make it go away? These are Kokoro's thoughts. A formative memory that led to her wish. We might not completely understand one another, but maybe that isn't so bad. Even if what we tell each other can't convey exactly what we feel. The effort of even trying to communicate those feelings is beautiful in and of itself. The warmth we share from coming together, no matter how faint, is gentle and irreplaceable. So don't be afraid of hurting us. Don't be afraid of getting hurt. Don't get used to being alone. We want you to live on with us, even if a part of you ends up lost. Okay, well... Shinya brings Ryo Taro in. Now you guys and Kokoro. Oh. And just when Kurama and the others recovered, too. It's worrying. Really. Yes. I suppose it is. It'll be fine. Everyone else managed to recover. With a little rest, they will, too. They might suffer a bit of memory loss, though. <laughs> hey. Miss Sora was looking for you. She asked that you stop by her office. Alone. Well, I hope they don't take this good. Task complete. Part 2. Act of Sloth. Shield of Hope. It's faint, but there's mist spreading rapidly throughout the campus. I just hope nothing bad happens. You seem pale. Let me have a look. I will. I think first things first, you I kind of want to go explore the library. Make sure you don't overdo it. If they'll let me. Hundreds of millions of light years of loneliness. Damn. Yeah, it's still this one. Although I like this one too. I was like, which was the one that I really liked to get? It was the... Um, was it Wrath? Was that one Wrath? I don't remember. Um, but yeah. Uh, let me go to the library.
Just want to look around. All right, looks like no one's here. Okay. But I should be able to go open up both of those um, safes now just to see what they are. I wonder if there are training grounds or fertile grounds or whatever. What? Fuck you! You mean I can't go in here once I... Why the fuck? Fuck you. You will let me go in there after the this section's done or something like that. Or, I don't know. It's dumb that they still won't let me go in there, even though they should. I'm curious to check out the, um... The archives. I want to see if they'll let me even go inside the archives. Door is locked. Nope. Can't go in the archives. Okay. Let's just go to the student council room. Well, Alright guys, I guess that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Monarch. In the next part, guys, we will um uh, continue on with this path that we're going down. And we'll go from there. So thank you all uh, so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button a click. And comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video. Damn, we're so close to getting to um, a million spirit urns. Uh, like, what you didn't like about, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of uh, that fight with um, uh, the Sloth Monarch. It's very fun. And those, the music wasn't that bad either. Um, it's very interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do is um, I need to find a way that, like, I need to move them all when we do those Monarch fights. Um, start moving them to do that party thing. Or how we did it was fine. Eh, it's not a big deal. Either way. So, yeah. Let me know. And as well as guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat as subscribe to the main channel too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RPG Kim Kids Twitter are in there too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.